Gabriel and I'm a software developer. Um, I major in mostly backend. It's actually been really interesting. Um, I never heard of Valeran, but now like just getting to like hear about it and understand what it is they're trying to achieve. I actually think it's something new that can actually like bring a lot of value to clients. And the fact that it's very scalable and customer centric. Uh, that's really amazing. Um, I had the chance to work on the SDK and the code has also been written very nicely and, and neatly, which is really nice. So basically what, I, what we decided to do with my team is we decided to contribute to the SDK. So basically the increase in GDPR regulations, um, customers tend to like want to own their data more and more. So basically what we did was try to sort of add a feature that would enable people to delete their data from the platform. And so we had to like understand the SDK spec and also tweak the SDK and sort of like modify it a bit. And it goes into the whole um, notion of the company, which is also like collaborating with other developers in open source. And it was really interesting for me, I guess. Yeah. I think it's very simple to use, simple to understand. So I tell them to like give it a go. And also if you want to like get up and running very quickly, you don't have to worry a lot about um, the setup, the integrities. It's all abstracted for you. All you have to do is focus on the customer and create meaningful engagement. And I think that's the, like the most value that Elyon provides. My name is Roman Joroge. I'm a student at the University of Nairobi studying computer science. And the Kathan has been great, I've gotten a, a good opportunity to learn about many new technologies and I believe it's helped me further my career. Oh yeah, so our group was looking to solve the issue of confirmation of payments. So we are simulating sort of a Jumia app. As someone, we make like a demo payment, then after you've confirmed it, sends you a message stating what, how much you've paid, what you've bought. Um, yeah, so far it's been going well. Mm -hmm. I'll tell other developers to stop slacking, come join the hackathon. It's a lot of fun and you learn a lot of things. Mm. Oh, yeah, I learned about the Elyrian the Elerian API and also got a chance to brush up on HTML, CSS, and yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the experience was good. Yeah, I learned a lot when got got to eat good food. So yeah, I'm fine. Uh, my name is Anne Masharia, uh, and uh, I am in the data analysis space. Glad to be here today. Uh, my experience today has been very interesting. Uh, this was a software development e development event, and I am more into data analytics. But it was really good to interact with the uh, software developers, uh, trying to see how data analytics can be plugged in into uh, the de software development processes, and also uh, knowing more people in the tech community. Because uh, I believe in the tech com in the tech community, you have to know people, uh, exchange skills, and learn and grow. Yes. Uh, some of the things I have learned today, um, first of all, uh, there's the um, how different different uh, tools are being used in software development. Uh, for example, in my team, we had someone uh, working on Python, we had someone working in Java. So uh, I've seen how collaboration and uh, different tools come together to create things. Uh, I've also seen that um, there's room for uh, data analytics also in the software development space. So we should not be afraid, uh, someone in software dev should not be afraid to go to an analysis uh, event. Also someone in analysis should be free to go to a software development event because uh, at the end of the, the, the day, they all come together uh, to help build tech solutions for clients and ourselves. Uh, uh, developers and analysts, you hold the key to the problems of the future. So keep sharpening your skills, uh, keep uh, growing the community, keep interacting. And uh, yeah, that's, that's my parting shot. <laughs> okay, my name is Gift Naomi. I'm a student at school in the Kenya High School. I'm currently in Form 2. Okay, my experience, I have learned more, many things I had not learned. 
mostly about coding. I, I did not know how to code, but uh, by, by the help of my brother who, who I came with, has given me the experience of how to code and that there are many fields in, there are many types of things you can do in life. Even if you are still a student, you can still be active in, a, in another part and be productive than be a consumer, than the way other people, like the way young people are mostly consumers than producers. I have learned that you can make your own app you can also make a website. Yeah, it's something that people are doing. It's not about somebody, one person who can do it. All of us can. And it starts with the experience and exposure to other things and other people. I would like to tell them that mostly at, at their free time, should try to learn more things. Most, okay, not very serious but something that can help you in life. Okay, like coding, that will really help you in life. Then just staying, or some, okay, you, some, uh, using your free time well, and also trying to know more things and be exposed to other things than what you're used to. Yeah, and mostly uh, young people or my peers, mostly use the phone, uh, they don't take a, a fully advantage of the phone or even the technology that is there, but become more consumers than producers. So at this age, they should, they should at least learn so that when they are, okay, maybe at older or even start early enough. Yeah, I see a future cause. It has been introduced to me and I'm learning about it. So I possibly say, like, I'll be engaging.